Can you tell us a little bit about the uh, current integration of computer systems? Yes, of course. Uh, it's um, sort of, uh, there ha have been some updates. Uh, a couple of years ago, we had an update in Chapter 4 in the EU GMP uh, that sort of covered validation of those uh, computerized systems you used in your quality system databases and things like that, that all those, or document handling system, that they need to be validated. And then already back in 2010, we got the Annex 11 uh, that became effective in 2011. So those are sort of the regulatory uh, text that we actually need to comply with. And we also do have a phrase or some sentences in the EU GMP part two. Um, uh, that uh, talks about validation of computerized systems. So that's the, 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 that's the foundation for the regulations. And then there are a couple of, of course, guidance documents. There is a very comprehensive guidance document from the PICS, the Pharmaceutical Inspectors Cooperation Scheme. Uh, they published a, a guidance document that is authored by regulators. Uh, and of course, the industry publication, the GAMP, the GAMP 5, is commonly used. As a best practice by, guide. Yes, yes. I mean, it's more like a guide how to, and it's not a regulatory requirement, but uh, it's, it's commonly referred to. Yeah. Yes. So we, we do have some, uh, and of course, a lot of European companies, they also look at what's published by the FDA, of course.